How's it going guys? My name is Grant. I'm a sports videographer and editor. Today I kind of wanted to tackle how I did this effect right here. Um, it's really cool, pretty easy to do. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First of all, I just want to say I respect all the YouTubers out there that make it look super easy. This is my second time recording this uh, tutorial just because I forgot how to do it the first time. I looked back at what I did before and I'm good to go now, but I just want to say that. Getting straight into the tutorial, we are in After Effects right now. Uh, this is the latest version, 2021. I believe you need it for what we are going to do. I have imported this file in. Um, I have a whole bunch of copyrighted music on this, so and I'm not going to play it with the, the audio. If you want to check it out, look at my Instagram, at Gashuski. But right now, we are going to look at this part right here where it says his name. What I like to do is get my final edit done uh, in Final Cut Pro and then I like to render it out at ProRes 422 and then do any post work here because After Effects is really made for doing that visual effects work and it's a lot better than doing it in Final Cut and there's a lot better features in here. The first thing that we're going to do is go in and get our clip that we want. So I'm going to cut this out. So now we just have this, this tiny clip to work on and it's a lot easier. So now if you play back, it's just going to loop. Awesome. Perfect. Next thing that we're going to do is duplicate this. Um, we're going to save that for later. Let me rename it so it's a lot easier for you guys to understand and also for my sake. Turn that layer off then um, and then we're going to go back to this one. So this is where I like to go up here and make a selection around his nameplate. So what we're going to do is get the pen tool, go around his nameplate. And his name's kind of long and it's kind of weird because it has the uh, space in between since he is the third bait or baits I should say. So let me just go around this real quick. Um, it could be pretty rough honestly, um, kind of depends on the name and kind of how much space you have to work with but um, I'm going to be kind of adjusting it if I need to and I need to change the color of this mask so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so then we're going to go down here to the mask and we're going to do subtract. So now we have this black rectangle here. Um, we're also going to go in and adjust the feathering. So this is kind of just adjusting um, how smooth it is going to be on the transition between the mask and the background. And now that we have this space, now we want to we want to track this mask onto this so that it stays with it. Right now, it's just going to kind of move around, and that's not what we want. So we want to go to the mask, select the mask, hit the play button, and then it should mask it and track it perfectly. The next thing that we're going to do is go over to the right side of the screen here. Um, we have Content Aware Fill over here. If you don't have it over here, go up to Window and go to Content Aware Fill. All right, so when you're over here, uh, you're going to go to Create Reference Frame. And what that does is it's going to open up Photoshop. But what we want to do essentially is make some reference frames for Adobe After Effects to figure out kind of like what we want to do. Once you're in Photoshop, you can see it's kind of like what we had already in After Effects. The mask is already cut out. So then we go in here and we're gonna kind of make a same selection around that area. All right, so now that we have that selection, we're gonna go up and go to Content Aware Fill. And then essentially what Content Aware Fill in here is, we can kind of tell the program what we want it to pull from. So, so the green is what it's pulling from and we only want it to be the jersey, the white part of the jersey specifically. So as you can see over here, um, it's pulling from the numbers a lot, so we want to get rid of those. And you can adjust the brush size and everything in the top left there. But we want to get rid of the number here. But we just want to make sure that the, the program is pulling from what we only want it to. And it looks like it's pulling from this bangles here. We want to get rid of that. So really, I just, I just want it pulling from the white jersey. And if you don't have enough jersey for it to select from, you might want to draw back some of it. All right, so then once you do all this, you can kind of see over here that it looks pretty white and plain, and that's what we really want. So now, that's the empty jersey, and what we're trying to do is have a clean slate for us to put the letters back onto. So we're gonna go ahead and save, and go back to After Effects, and at this point, if we did our job well enough, it should be able to do everything just from that one frame. If not, I have gone in in the past and done another frame uh, later in the sequence and that kind of gives it more information to pick from and lets it know that we're trying to get this look only and only that so let's see what it does and see if we need to fix anything now that we have that reference frame we're going to go ahead and hit generate fill layer and then it makes a new layer up here let's see if it did a pretty good job uh, it did it did pretty good honestly um, it has a little bit of a border there and you might not even be able to tell when you're zoomed out 
Like you, you can kind of see right there, it's not the greatest, um, but it gets the job done. Uh, when I did it, I, I kind of went back and did it multiple times and did a whole bunch of like curves adjustments and everything to make sure it looked good. Um, but for the tutorial's sake, this is good enough. So now we have this layer that we made in the beginning and we kind of duplicated it. So we wanna move this back to the top. And if we do that and turn it back on, you can see the name is back. This is where we animate the name to be back onto the nameplate. Now I'm gonna make a mask for this, for this layer at the top. So I'm gonna make a mask around the entire thing. This could be really, really rough. Give yourself a couple points to play with on each side if you can, uh, it just helps out a lot. All right, so now that you have this rough mask around it, we're gonna go ahead and invert it. So now that we have all these points here, we're gonna go down to the mask and make sure we hit the little drop down arrow. Go to the mask path, hit the stopwatch. Now we're gonna go frame by frame and animate it. We wanna move it so these are right here. We're essentially just drawing out each letter. We're gonna go to the next frame. You can see some of it's revealed up here, so we wanna make sure that it is not being revealed. We're gonna drag this up a little bit, drag this up a little bit, and then we're gonna to go to the A, do this, go to next frame, do the T. And this is kind of where it's really helpful to have multiple points because the T is a complex shape. And then as you can see, it's kind of being animated one letter at a time, which is really cool. Then we're just gonna continue the process all the way through. And you can also drag and select all the points. It might be a little bit easier on some of these. Now we just finish off with the three here and reveal everything. And then we also wanna make sure that we hit the next keyframe and then we just wanna push this mask all the way over here to the side so that it doesn't affect anything. Uh, there's probably a better way and a more professional way to do this, but I just put it off the side because it's not gonna affect anything. If we play it back, we have this. A nice animated nameplate. I think it's really cool. I think there's a lot of possibilities with Content Aware Fill and After Effects. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Had a blast doing it two times over. It's always fun and I know how to do this process now. Oh, and also I just wanna thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I hit that not too long ago, super crazy. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to thumbs it up. If you have any questions, comment down below. And of course, subscribe, really appreciate it.